All right, back again. So it's been just about an hour, and the only thing I did was just a few attacks just to get some golden elixir, which was around 5,000 was my max. Now that I'm up to time off three, it looks like it's up to 16,000 for both. So I need to get some more. So let me go here. I got a few things. So logged in, created a supercell ID for the account. So normally it only gives you one star, but creating a supercell ID gives you all three stars. You get 50 gems. Upgrade Town Hall 3, you get 5. Gold Storage, you get 2. And I think I got a few things down here. Yep. Which was upgrade Gold Storage, level 2, upgrade Army Camp, and start 6 upgrades. So going to Town Hall 3, I unlocked a bunch more. Which looks like Goblin Map and a bunch of other things. I don't remember how much of this I covered in the last one, but these are basically just different monthly challenges, which happens every month. If you purchase the gold pass, I think it's $4.99 for the month. If you don't purchase it, you still get rewards. Not as much as this one here, but you still get rewards for the month by doing the challenges that are there. But these are the basic ones, I guess, just for getting to Town Hall 3. And it looks like once I get to Town Hall 4, it'll unlock some more challenges. So this is completely different than the normal monthly challenges that are there. And now at Town Hall 3, this is also unlocked over here, which lets you edit your village. So you get one place to edit your village without having to just move things around. You can go in here and just hit remove all. And then you can pretty much build your village inside of here. And then once you save it, it'll change the layout. Town Hall 5, you get an extra one. Town Hall 7, you get an extra one as well to have a couple of different layouts. And I can't do the war base side because I need the clan castle first. Can't upgrade the clan castle because I don't have 10,000 gold. And I got another number 75 trophies. So I get five more gems. And I have 35 more things to put out. Some more storages, some more collectors, and more walls and defenses. So let's put out some more walls. some of these collectors. Let's move this wall a little bit. Since I'm going to be putting out a few more things, let's just make some room. Bombs. Let's put out a few of those. Gold storage. Okay, this so armor camp takes five minutes. Laboratory takes a minute, but I need elixir. Mortar takes three hours. Okay, it's so the only thing I can put out is army camp. And I can't upgrade the town hall until I put out the mortar and the laboratory. And since I upgraded the army camp to level 2, I get 30 troops now. And with this one, I should get a 5 more, I think. I think that gives me 5 more. I might be wrong on that one. 10 gems. Oh, and when I went to the goblin map, this goblin gauntlet, it's it wouldn't even let me do that one. It said it recommended Town Hall 3 before I can even do that one. And I have 
30 troops. Let's just try see what we can do. Oh, it's two cannons. Should be able to do this one just fine with 30 gob 30 barbarians. I'm just gonna put five barbarians in each cannon. That's all. And I think that little path there has bombs. So that might kill off a bunch of my troops. One. Okay. Thought there was a lot more bombs in there. So that was fairly easy. We'll try one more. So this one has open spots on the torches. You can get inside the base. So I'm going to do 5 and 5 on each of these cannons again. Which does not work out because they go to the builder huts. Alright. So far you can take out all of the goblin map with just barbarians. Which that almost took all 30 of them, just because they went off to the side. So that took 26 barbarians for the cannibal run. And going off the old ones, they were saying the first one payback took 5 barbarians, which I used one wizard. Goblin Force, they said 10 barbarians. And I'm going to have all this information on the actual website with this video for what I use compared to what it used to be. Level 3, Goblin Outpost. It says troops needed 20 barbarians, which we didn't use that. Rocky Fort, 20 barbarians again. Goblin Gauntlet, 10 barbarians. Cannibal Run, which we just finished, it says 30 archers, which I don't even have archers yet. But it took me all of my troops, which was 30. So that bumped me up to 50 now. So now I can have 50 troops. Well, 50 barbarians anyway. So Cannibal Run says 30 archers, which I think they use the archers to hit the cannons from over the fence wall. Not the fence. So two smoking barrels says 20 archers, but I am pretty sure we can get it done with 50 barbarians. So I can do the mortar and laboratory now, and then I need 25,000 to get to Town Hall 4, and the mortar takes three hours. So I'm going to move the mortar right to the center since that has quite a range of attack. Okay, and with a laboratory, you can upgrade troops. And the only thing I can upgrade at level 1 is barbarians to level 2. But I don't have enough elixir. So it looks like the boat I can rebuild. That's free. No, nope, I need Town Hall 4 to get the boat to go to Builder Base. And I'm pretty sure I can go to Town Hall 4. Yes. 23, 25, so no. So I need to upgrade my storages and get more loot. And then I can go to Town Hall 4. So that was the laboratory and the mortar. That gives us 4,000 gold. Okay, so the only thing I need to do now is just do some attacks to get gold and elixir. 
get troops upgraded, get all my storages upgraded, and then go up to Town Hall 4. So within just a few hours, should be able to Town Hall 4. So once I get those up, then I'll come back again and do a couple more. Actually, let's do one more. Since I have troops. Smoking barrels will give us 5,000 each. Okay, so that was two. Looks like a level one cannon and a level probably three cannon. So we'll do five over there. Oops, let's go six. This one is probably going to take a little bit more. And I think these two paths are bombs. Okay, I am going to just use up some troops to get this done faster. I'm going to go back and check the numbers, but there was... I think I put six on the small cannon. I probably put about 10, 15 on the large cannon. Go grab Elixir Escape. So the next one up is a million gold, a million elixir for 10 gems each. Oh, we can do the plant castle. So I'm going to get that done. Oh, that's automatic. Five more gems. So now when you get the clan castle unlocked, it gives you treasury, which you can store extra loot in there. Looks like it's 400,000. So when you're in war, you get extra loot. Doing clan games and whatnot, it puts extra loot in there. That's kind of cool. It starts you at 400,000. Clan castle also has a guard or a sleep mode. So if it's in sleep mode and you have troops in there, they stay in there. If you have it on guard mode, if you have troops in your clan castle and someone attacks you, the troops will come out to defend your base. So that's what that's for. I can't upgrade to level 2 until I get to Town Hall 4. And that just bumps the troop capacity up to 15. Let's get some storage going. That also adds this right here, but you need to join a clan in order to participate in clan wars. Rebuild the clan castle, that gave me 200. And it looks like it added a few more things. Join a clan, you get 150. So, let's see if I can find... So once you have a clan castle, you can also create a clan, which used to cost, I think, like 500 gems to create a clan. Now it's 40,000 gold. And these are the labels that I was talking about. Or if you're searching for a clan, you can use these labels to kind of identify what your clan is about. If they do a lot of donations, if they play a lot of clan games, friendly wars, you get to pick three. And then you can also pick three for your account, which is right there. Now it has a little edit pencil next to those three little spots up here for labels, so I can select that. And these basically describe what kind of a player or what kind of player style you are. I will do that one. Um, we'll do friendly and active. So basically when someone is looking for a new player to invite to their clan, they can filter and sort by those labels. Yeah, so we can put in 2, P2. So if you already know a clan, you can type in their number here. There we go. So coming up on almost two years now, and we're already at level 9. So that's pretty cool. Invite only, so I can't join. I need to send myself an invite. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump on my other account, add this one, and send an invite. Okay, apparently I have it set to invite only. So what I did is I went in there on my other account, sent an invite to myself, which is in here in your mail. So you have your defense log, your attack log, and your inbox. So I sent myself an invite. 
and now I'm in chat rules. They got rid of the global chat feature. Now it's just chat in your clan. So now I can request troops to my clan castle. And if you just hit send, it'll just send a generic request. But you can also use this edit pencil and you can request specific troops. And I can only request those troops right there, I guess. So I guess the higher levels you get, the different troops you can request. But I can request this set of troops. Oh, because my clan castle is only can hold 10. So that's why I can only get these. So once the clan castle gets bigger and I can hold more troops, this will change. So I can say I want two balloons, and if you check this box here, that'll let you receive the highest level of donation that you can receive. Which it says four. So I wonder if that's changed then. And I can't receive max balloons, so that's interesting. So let me see. So confirm. Send. Let me go over to my other account and donate max balloons and see what happens. Well, that's interesting. So I can't even donate max troops. So that must be something they changed within the last year because I remember when I did my the Pirates Media account, I was requesting balloons and it gave me max balloons. At least I thought it did. And that's interesting. So I can only... So even if I request max, I can only get a certain level. Hmm, I didn't even notice that before, but yeah. Looks like I can only donate... Well, that is really odd. So from what I can see, or what I can tell, you can only donate troops up to the level of what the person you're donating to can handle. That's a little strange, because it used to be max. So if I had max troops, I could donate like a maxed out balloon or maxed out whatever to whoever was requesting. And now it seems like since I can only get up to level four for my town hall, when someone donates a troop to me, it only can go up to level four. Which that is kind of annoying because then what is the point? Because when you're in when you're in a clan, part of the clan perks is the donation limit can go up so when you're in a clan, that's why you have different levels in the clan, is the donation upgrade goes up one level when you're at level 5. And then once you get to clan level 10, donation upgrade goes up two levels. So I'm not sure what they did. I guess I haven't done any research or looked into that, but even though I can donate max troops, that doesn't seem to be the case when you donate to somebody that doesn't have that can't get max troops for their town hall level, they don't get max troops. So unless that changes at a certain town hall level, that's kind of strange that they would have done that, but I guess we'll find out later. Okay, so got the clan castle done, got troops. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more goblin map, which is Gold Rush. Now that we have the two... Okay, so we got the balloons and the clan castle, and that'll just take care of everything in here. So I'm just going to speed up the video at this point because this is going to take a while. So once you get to Town Hall 4 and you can get your clan castle and you can join a clan, you can request balloons and you only get two of them for clan castle level 1. But once you do that, most of these goblin maps at this point, you can just clear the goblin level with just balloons because there's no air defense and there's nothing that's going to shoot at you until you get to some of them that have archer towers but even then the balloons will take them out pretty quick so from this point on for the next handful of goblin maps I can just keep requesting balloons and just breeze right through them without using any of my troops so I'm going to end this for now, but what I'm going to do is keep upgrading the collectors, storages, and we're going to go bump up to Town Hall 4. That's going to take 8 hours, but I need to get the storages up so I can get enough loot to upgrade those. 
And while that is going, I'm going to, and while the storages and the collectors and everything are getting upgraded, troops and army camps and all that, get those going so I can get in the flute, and then get the town hall to four, and then I'll come back and get through a bunch of the goblin map. Probably just using balloons, because there's not much point in using other troops. I mean, I can, I guess, but balloons will pretty much wipe through most of them. And then at some point I'll need actual troops, but by that time I should have enough troops upgraded and archers and wall breakers and giants. I can start using some of those to get through the goblin map. Alright, thanks for watching.